Welcome back, everybody, to Crows of Judgment. And uh, it's time for another Creepshow art video. Content that is absolutely uh, easy to make, uh, that will get incredibly promoted in the algorithm, and that everybody likes and, and, and will comment on, and I'll get all the engagement. But I, I have a spin on this. I, I will not be uh, doing any negative video. I, I will not be uh, uh, attacking Shannon's character. I, I will not be uh, uh, talking about what horrible and awful things she has done. I would like to congratulate Shannon uh, because she has won a, a most prestigious award. A, 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 a world record has been broken on YouTube by Shannon. And uh, she, she beat out all the competition. It's actually pretty damn incredible. But I, I guess I should bring this up first because... Um, for those of you uh, who have been following the channel for a long time, um, I, I, I'm sure you know about my family situation. So when I saw this, look, I, I don't, I don't believe uh, 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 Shannon's sister, who is the person who posted this stuff, um, because they said it. I, it. It seems to fit the pattern of behavior of Shannon, but. To be clear, they're making some claims. It, they seem to be uh, substantiating, again, things that Emily Artful has said. But uh, she has privatized her uh, Twitter account. Uh, so you're put into, like, protected status so you can't go in and see this stuff. This is an archive link. I don't know if she's continuing to tweet about Shannon. Personally, what happened between Shannon and her sister... Um, I mean, Shannon, Shannon doxed her own fucking sister on Lolcow while pretending to be multiple people. She's just a garbage human being. Uh, hey folks, I'm indeed Creepshow Art Sibling. I'm aware that she doxed me on Lolcow when I first hop, when I was first hospitalized in March. I have no doubt that Shannon was the one who doxed me. I don't think I have anything new to contribute to this mess besides solidarity with those who have been harassed plus abused by Shannon slash Anthony. I will only be public for today, plus likely will not allow folks I don't know to keep following me, but I'm here if folks have questions. What was slash is your take on Shannon's husband? Are they actually married? Do you think he is capable of hurting her because of this situation? Shannon wasn't wrong when I called Anthony abusive back in 2015. I stand by that still. I think they are married, plus they are both, they are both uh, clearly very capable of harm. I can't speak of how the situation is playing out interpersonally between them. I just think they know they've been caught. Uh, did you have any inkling uh, slash idea about the Emily Artful situation? Did she ever talk about her to you or in passing? I actually caught her using multiple accounts to harass who I now know to be Emily. I don't remember the year this happened. I just know I saw that she had multiple accounts messaging cruel things plus kind things to someone. When I asked her about it, she told me it was Anthony's ex. So there you go. Um, we, we had the, uh, the Kevin Coulter guy, I, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that was his name, um, who was an old friend of Shannon's, who, uh, who also said that he knew that Shannon was harassing Emily Artful. You have Shannon's sister claiming that she saw that too. Now, in the case of Shannon's sister, heavy bias, of course, Shannon did dox her on Molkow, and they've been fighting for a while, so... Take it with a grain of salt. But again, it's just it's just more things to pile onto the list uh, of things that just don't look good for Shannon. Uh, now, I, I want to get that part out of the way because, again, like I said, my family thing and everything. But congratulations to Creepshow Art. Uh, so on June 19th, 2021, Creepshow Art broke a goddamn record. Creepshow Art has now officially lost a quarter of her subscriber count now, making this the world record of the highest percentage lost from a drama within the first month. It's amazing how fast one can fall. Yes, so, so to be clear, right? Uh, Pyrocynical didn't lose uh, this much of his audience. Uh, Call Me Carson didn't lose this much of his audience. Fucking Mini Lad confessed to grooming and didn't lose this much of his audience. James Charles hasn't lost this much of his audience. But Creepshow Art has. That is that is nuts. Is, is that sexism? I don't fucking know, but it's it's crazy. It's hilarious. I I I, I am I am definitely entertained as I watch the numbers drop. Now, look, I've always said uh, uh, sub loss doesn't mean shit, right? If you're trying to say sub loss defines guilt, um, it, it doesn't. Anyone who gets involved in any type of controversy um, for, for anything, especially, you know, P word allegations, you're going to lose a lot of your subscribers. But 
I, Shannon is not being outed for, for grooming someone or, or for, for doing illicit things with minors. She's she's being outed for cyber stalking and harassing someone for a fucking decade. It's nuts. And, uh, you know, uh, the lol cow stuff, yeah, don't get me wrong, that was bad, right? But had Shannon not tried to make up some bullshit story about this uh, th this Amy girl uh, 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 fucking stalking her and spoofing her IP, I think that she probably would have been fine, right? She would have had to deal with some heat from the art community, but the art community is a bunch of fucking psychopaths, so who fucking cares? I I I'm being facetious. You can all calm down, put down the pitchfork, save it for next week. Uh, but, look, this is, this is just fucking hilarious. I I've already said... I have a very negative bias towards Shannon. I don't like what she did to my friend. So I'm happy to see her fucking suffer. I will openly admit to that. Anyways, guys, you let me know what you think in the comments section. Uh, this has been Dictive Crow signing out.